Okay, hello everybody. I'm here and I'm going to show you how a good airsoft Tommy gun setup. Mine's a Chicago typewriter, 1928 model. When we first get it out of the box, here's what it looks like. Let's see. Take out the clip. There we go. So here's the magazine. You can see in there. To load, there's this little clip right up here. You pop that open. You put in the BBs until it fills up. Close that back up, and on the bottom, there's a little winder. Don't go against the triangles, go with the triangles. I just kind of put 30 round, 45 cal on the bottom to make it look realistic. The way they're sloped, like that, yeah, just going like that, go that way. So that it just makes sense, you know. And it's got a battery and the buttstock. If you look, there's usually a trap door that opens up like that. Wait just a minute. You gotta wiggle it around, and then you stick your hand in there, you stick your finger in there, pull it out, and sideways, you see what's in it. Now, when you buy this gun, it'll already come with a battery. And so here it is, the battery. I had to buy this one because I lost the other one. And you'll get it, and you gotta charge it up for like five hours. That's how much mine said. And then, you, as you can tell, there's a square and a circle. You gotta match them up, you plug that in after five hours, and then you're ready. There are two different kinds of controls on here. There's full auto, and then there's single, fire, and then there's safety. They have pretty good triggers. You don't gotta squeeze it down all the way. And mine was very reliable, very durable. But the only downfall is that the screw came loose in here, so I was gonna go to tighten it. But then I tightened it too much, so I had to pull it out. And the screw sockets, the little circles, up, they don't line up. It's the Chinese scam, you know? So I can put the screw back in, so now this, I try to glue it. The stock is just kind of messed up. But overall, it's a really good gun. Gun. Bought it off of eBay for like 160 165 It's really nice. At first, it came with a drum mag. Now, I don't recommend the drum mag. The drum mag isn't that reliable. It would only give out about 10 or 20, 15 shots at a time. And then I'd have to rewind it every single time. And it just didn't last too long. And this is plastic, but it's very well grained and all that. It's all shiny. It looks like a real Tommy. And Thompson submachine gun caliber six millimeter. It came with that little den. I didn't put that there. It was small nineteen twenty eight two seven eight six two. I just kind of put my initials in there. Here's the other side. The rear sights on mine are adjustable. They go. Mine up, down, left, right, up some more. There are several little clicks in between, but I'm just showing you pretty quick. And it's just got some patents and stuff out on there. And the charging handle doesn't do anything. As you can see, it's just kind of brass in there to make it look cool. 
but that's because it's battery powered. It's a very good gun, though, very reliable. I know that when I plug it in and get that battery in there and get it charged up, it's gonna shoot. If you take good care of it. I've had this for about a year now. And it has never jammed or failed. It's done really good. Alright. Well, that's my YouTube video on this Tommy. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.